What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Star Realms with Bax. Today we're going to be playing a real-time game with full commentary going through the Colony Wars Frontiers format. So I just searched for these. I was actually hoping to just get a single uh, base set, but I like this. Colony Wars and Frontiers combined against Teginald. Teginald. Level 28, 8 out of 29. So opening up here, Frontier Runner, Storage Silo, Destroyer, Bot, Frontier Fairy, and the Siege Fortress. We have two. As much as I think it might be a spicy pick to go storage silo, I think we have to take the Frontier Runner to guarantee ourselves the two trade this early in the game. Let's exp let's be spicy, okay? It's a spicy day. Let's get a little silly with it, okay? And let's let's just see let's see how the game develops. See if we need to you know, make certain adjustments or not, who knows? I mean, Frontier Fairy, they'll take mining. If they take mining, we can't, oh, we'll take Convoy. So we have to take Convoy. Like we can't not take Convoy uh, in this situation. Um, our opponent, it looks like, is gonna have a very strong start though, uh, where they'll get mining, Frontier, and the Destroyer bot. So for four here, I am going to take the Frontier Fairy. Um, I love Frontier Fairy. I think it's a great card. Uh, you're getting three, four on primary ability, which is pretty strong. Um, destroy target base later in the game with two bases over here on the right side. Probably gonna get some use as well. And the way the game is going, I think... We are playing into trade, so you'll notice... So the way our deck is organized, our opponents, uh, our opponents got dual colors, so they're running a uh, red blue. We are also running red blue. So with with three here, two on cargo craft puts us into another color and gives us quite a bit of trade. I think our our lack might be in the damage realm here. Top deck the convoy. Actually, I'm okay with that. Six in storage lives. They take jamming. We still have three. Hmm. We're gonna scrap Viper here. After they took after they took jamming terminal, I'm gonna want to get these big cards to try to nullify the effect of that later in the game. Cause when that thing gets out, it's gonna be really annoying. Um keeping one one trade, uh or one damage, sorry. It's not gonna make the difference. So here we have Moonworm or the Siege Fortress. Uh, right now, there's nothing, there's no green in anybody's deck. Um, the thing for me here would be just how good Moonworm is with eight and a draw. Oh, I kind of like taking Siege Fortress though. I think like given given the spice we've already shown, I think we're gonna go Siege Fortress here. The reason I'm gonna go Siege Fortress is because we have Faction Fort with Cargo. It can protect Storage Silo. And it does damage plus soaks five. Um, our opponent has two cards that do five damage. We're gonna do it. So the, once again, this is me. This is me making a spicy play, based on earlier spicy plays. Okay, we're just that's it. Make it a play based on what we already did. So because we took storage silo, I think it might be a cool choice. Moonworm is strong, and I'm not saying that this wasn't the right pick, right? But personally, that's what I love about about this game is that you can try, you know, different strategies sometimes and really like push them to their limit and see what happens. They're going to have three. Uh, we're going to take command center uh, because it just works right into everything that I was just saying. As soon as this explorer comes up and there it is. Ooh, we actually so close. So close to getting moonworm jamming terminal did jamming terminal stuff, though. That's a pretty savage bottom deck. But it is, it is what it is. And what it is, it is. So now the question for me, 
So do I take that bacon? I don't think so. I think we just wait. We get a faction on storage silo and frontier. Plus we do hide the storage silo behind the siege fortress. I hope we draw into like a, uh, I hope we draw into a scout. Cause we're gonna have to discard something cause of jamming terminal. They didn't get warning beacon, huge. So the discard is the convoy bot. <laughs> I think the discard is the convoy bot. I want to keep the bases out here. Man, this is rough. This may this may be a game losing situation for us to bottom deck all this together because I want I'm, I'm looking at the warning beacon thinking about getting that in there, but I just don't see that happening. Let's just let's just play. Let's play for efficacy here. Seven, we'll take Fred. We'll kill, move on. Now they're, they have a ton of damage. They actually, okay, so they ship out aging battleship pretty early in the game and I'm low key okay with that. They take stealth tower. Ooh, I don't like seeing that crusher come up because I think I have to take crusher, but I think I'd rather take the captured outpost. How spicy can we be? Like at some point in time, the amount of spice we're playing with probably needs to simmer down. Um, but we're making a lot of very kind of antithetical choices where we have big damage cards we can take and we're choosing to take something that doesn't have the same like high level of value. But does have like a strategy and an idea behind it. So we get a draw on damage for four. We are going to take mobile market. Ooh, that's interesting. I think we're going to pop them on a discard too. We'll take the skiff. And by golly gee, if we don't take that frontier runner. 38 to 33, we have Fred, and that was in the back of my head is like, well, with Fred in there, chance to destroy target base here. Ooh, discard two, that's rough. We still have, we can still ship one out though. But that is, uh, that's a feels bad. So three, we can get them on a discard. They're just gonna copy again though. This is pretty rough. This is pretty rough. Scrap card in the trade row. I think we have to get rid of, yeah, we gotta get rid of seed chip. And they get the eight, and they get the eight for storm cluster. Things are spiraling out of control for us. Would I rather they take this into hand or get eight damage? That in the hand gives an extra four authority. I think I'd rather take the damage because I can heal the damage, but I can't prevent this. But what if they don't get patrol cutter? What if they don't get the thing for swarm cluster either? Let's get rid of colony seed chip. Into hand is just too strong. So we were able to get rid of the stealth, so that's good. Maybe we did have to take a risk there. Maybe we did have to take a risk. Ah, you got, oh, we got both. It wouldn't matter. You wouldn't be able to get patrol uh, the colony seed ship, I guess. It's okay though, because we're going to send the jamming terminal into the discard pile. So this actually, this works to our advantage, at least this part. We have a lot of authority gain coming up. Now I am going to take the hive queen. And we are gonna sack out that mobile market. Ooh, both those stay alive. This is huge. Here's our chance. That's a Fred. It's a free target destruction there. 
We'll take the hammerhead for draw value. So we have a lot of draw. Bases are out. Do we take repair mech to get like Siege Fortress back? I kind of like that play. Cause see, cause these, these bases are gonna die right here, right? These bases are gonna die. And when they die, we're shuffling. So I kind of like taking repair mech here. Um, and I think, I think we're gonna hold on to the Frontier Ferry. It's a lot of damage. Do I have to sack Fred? Uh, for those who don't know, Fred is the Federation battleship. I think, I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna roll. I don't wanna take the patrol cutter here because it's a dead card. Uh, what I mean by that is it doesn't draw a card or help me like generate any value in combo in my deck besides like a flat for authority. And I'd rather just get my other cards. Uh, if patrol cutter came up, I wouldn't be like thrilled. I'd be okay, but I, would, I wouldn't be like thrilled with that. So it has to get through all the bases and does. Didn't get through them last time. And this is exactly what I was talking about. Now we can pull Siege Fortress. We can pull Siege Fortress up to the top. Double draw. There's a scout. Seventeen. We'll pop the ten. Six forty two. We're going to scrap out the storage silo here. The reason I didn't scrap the Viper is because look how close, like we need damage, right? Like we need, I want every inkling of damage I can possibly muster together. And then we ship Fred out because by the time, you know, this one way or another, I'm going to find you. I'm going to get you. Get you. Okay. Ooh. Ha. Copies for damage. We have the destroy target base. And we have a lot of authority to gain here. So we're, we'll take the Lancer, Fosho. We'll get rid of the Stealth Tower. We're going to take Outland Station because it is Cantrip. Uh, we'll draw a card. So this is going to be basically three authority draw plus it factions, a lot of things. And defense system ain't going to be too bad. I know there was one over here, but why not take the new one? It's fresh. And and we are, we are utilizing our strategy, okay? We're utilizing the ideas in our strategy. We've put them to the test. And I hope this goes to show that if you make antithetical decisions or decisions that, you know, can be a little spicy in the view of some, you can be a champion. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this excellent, fun, spicy match against uh, Teginald. Good game. Well played. I'll see you guys soon again. Daily videos here on this YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Like the video if you like the video and comment if you have any ideas or thoughts about the strategies in this video. Please always, as always, feel free to join the Discord. There's always a party going on in there. You guys are awesome. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon.